Hey guys, welcome back to another awesome adventure in art with your guest, your host, your teacher, this guy right here, Mr. Rossi. We're gonna get it on with Donkey Kong. And this is gonna be a two part video guys. So you wanna make sure that you subscribe, show it to your friends, show it to your family, dog, cat, anybody and everybody so that you can jump onto not just this video, but the next one is Mario. Mario, you got Donkey Kong throwing the barrel, Mario jumping over the barrel. Why that? Because, I'll give you a quick little um, history lesson on the character. Here you got Donkey Kong. You see him beating his chest. And you got Mario with a little hammer there. This was the first time that Mario ever showed up in a game. And before he was named Mario, he was Jump Man, because he would jump over the barrels that Donkey Kong would throw at him, okay? So you have to start at the very bottom, move your way to the top, climb these little ladders, try to avoid getting hit by one of those barrels, because if you did, it would be doo -doo 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 all the way down, you lost the game. And occasionally you would find a little hammer, you would pick it up, and you only had like a few seconds to smash those barrels while you made your way to the top and save the princess. This was also the very first game where the game was about saving the princess. Very similar to what Mario turned out being, where it was like, instead of a big gorilla, you were fighting a big lizard guy, King Koopa or something like that, and you had to save the princess. This is a little piece of arcade art. You can see the King Kong there, the princess, help me Mario, and Mario coming around and avoiding all those barrels. This was what's called an arcade cabinet, and you can see that piece of art I just showed you here on the side. So way back, way back when, you would have to go to an arcade, which was usually like a little mall, and you go with a thing called 25 cents, a little quarter, and you would pop in one of these little slots, and you would play this game da, 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 until you got hit with a barrel and you died, and you dropped all the way back down, you had to pump in another quarter in there. All right, you can, this was made by Nintendo. Then later on, you know, the character became very popular and Mario got his own game and that became extremely popular. And then you got what you got today. You know, you got Mario on a Nintendo Switch and he is the face of Nintendo when you think of Nintendo. Behind me here, so you could uh, take a look at what it looks like, my Mr. Rossi style Donkey Kong. You can also color him, I encourage, different colors. You don't have to go with the traditional ones that I did of a brown and like an orange. Guys, you can go black and this is like a red orange you can use. Right? Very cool to think about your own different colors for this. All right, let's get into this awesome drawing. We're gonna start nice and easy. So I'm gonna start, as always, it's always nice and easy, guys. We're gonna start right here, not at the top of the page, because if you start at the top of the page, you're not gonna have room for that barrel. So I'm gonna start right about midway, a little bit higher than halfway. I'm gonna start with a nice, sad face. A nice, sad face. To the right of that sad face, right there, you want to put the number three. And on the opposite side, a backwards number three. And I'm going to close this gap with, you guessed it, happy face. A little later, we'll work on the face. Let's start by uh, drawing the hands, the arms and the hands. Now I'm going to draw it, just a little line, looking like it has little antennas coming out the top of his head right here. Like he has these little antennas coming out the top of his head. And I'm gonna put the letter U, because you are awesome if you're checking out this video and subscribing. And U again. And you wanna close that letter U at the top with the number one. Now, if you know how to write a letter J, you wanna put a letter J right here with a number one. A letter J right there with a number one. And you can do the same thing on the other side, only backwards. So backwards letter J with a number one a backwards letter J with a number one, and you wanna put the little nails in there using a happy face or the letter C. Either one will get those hands looking pretty gangsters. All right, guys, to finish up the arms, you wanna put your pencil between these two fingers right here, there's a little spot there, there's a little spot here, and you're just gonna draw a happy face all the way to the middle of the page. A happy face all the way to the middle of the page. Here we go, happy face to the middle of the page. Happy face to the middle of the page. At the bottom, here and here, I draw a little bit of that fur hanging down. So I'm just gonna put a couple of happy faces in there. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. All right, now we're gonna draw the uh, center part of his body, which is that chest where he's going. All right, so you're gonna start right here at the bottom of this number three. You're gonna do a happy face all the way downtown, Julie Brown, till you touch that number three right there. So let's do this for realsies. 
all the way, happy face, downtown, Julie Brown, till I touch that number three right there. You see that you kind of closed up those happy faces there. I'm gonna add a little bit more body, and I'm gonna do that by just putting my pencil right about here between these two happy faces, in between these two happy faces. And I'm gonna draw another happy face and another happy face. In the middle, like I said, I like to draw that little chest piece. So I'll put that happy face, happy face, and a number one. He's got all that muscle. King Kong muscle. Muscle. Put your pencil right chill or right chill. Don't matter. You gotta do it both to each side. You're gonna draw a nice little sad face and another sad face. At the bottom of that sad face, left and right, you wanna go happy face a couple of times. Do -do 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 -do. You saw I did like three happy faces. And now I'm just going to close it right here from one point all the way to the other with a sad face. All right, guys, and I'm going to put my pencil right chill, and I'm just going to draw the letter C and another letter C, but backwards. At the bottom of that letter C, you're going to draw a nice little sad face and another sad face. And I'm gonna go ahead and put, now we're gonna draw those little toes and they're gonna close up this gap right there, giving you a nice foot with toes and the legs done. So I'm gonna put just a little sad face right here for a big toe. And another one right here for another big toe. And I'm gonna add one, two. And you can see that I already closed up that gap, okay? So I'm gonna go again with a sad face, one, two. And I closed up that gap. And like I've said before in previous videos, I don't like my character just floating in the air like this. So I'm gonna put him, I'm gonna ground him. Sure, I'm gonna put first your little, little horizontal line right here. One on the left, continuing that line, and one on the right, continuing that line. And I'll add another one right here so he's standing on that platform. I believe that thing had like a couple of diagonal lines going this way, maybe a couple more going that way. And then you just continue that little pattern of those little diagonal lines. So he's standing on that platform like in the video game. Now let's do the face that we were talking about that we were gonna leave for last. And then the very last thing is the barrel with the initials in there. Okay, let's go ahead and drop that in there. And we're gonna put a uh, letter V right here, right in the center, the letter V right there in the center. And right here at the point of that letter V, I'm gonna drop my pencil down a little bit. I'm gonna draw his nose. That's one sad face, two sad face, and then a sad face from one side all the way to the other. And it should touch that point. A sad face from one side all the way to the other. You see it touches that point. Now the eyes is, let me just like those dinosaur ones. If you haven't done the dinosaur ones, <clears throat> excuse me, they're in my videos. Check them out. So you put a happy face here, happy face here, and I put a backwards letter C, a backwards letter C. So when I do my Mario, it's like you'll be looking at that Mario. Now I'm going to put his mouth. This is going to be a one big sad face like this. And his teeth is are going to be the letter V, letter W, and the letter V again. And at the bottom, I'll just put the letter W. I always like to put like one line going down the middle with one diagonal on the left and one diagonal on the right, just to make him look a little bit more angrier. If you want to add a little bit more detail, like to color the face like a little bit orange, you would take the top of this letter V here on the left and on the right, and you would just do like a little happy face touching right here to the top of that sad face and one over here. And now you can color that part orange. And if you wanna add just a little bit more detail, you'll put one, two, three lines for a little bit of, you know, fur, okay? All right, let's draw that barrel. I'm gonna start with a happy face right here. A number one on the left, a number one on the right, and close it with a sad face. Now I'm gonna put one, two little happy faces here, one, two little happy faces there with a circle at the top. The D is just a number one, nice and tall, with a happy face and a capital letter D, very small in the center. And the K, a few more steps for the K. You're gonna put a nice long number one with a little horizontal line at the top and one at the bottom. A little number one at the top and a little number one at the bottom, making sure you do not close it. A little diagonal line at the top, a little diagonal line at the bottom, with another little number one, and a little, 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 little. And you're gonna close that little gap with a triangle. You got your little K. And the star is gonna be a triangle without the bottom, 
little horizontal line to the left and one to the right with a little diagonal line going back and a little diagonal line going back with a little diagonal line going out and a little diagonal line going out and I close that little gap right there with a triangle. The last little details are I add little lines like this to make it look like a nice little barrel. There you go, there you guys have it right there. Your dun, 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 boo -doo, boo -doo, Donkey Kong. Guys, if you like this video, as always, subscribe. That's the biggest thing you could do. Hit that thumbs up. You know, that's another awesome thing you guys can do. You know all that YouTube craziness that people ask you to do when you around here surfing these awesome channels, but they're not as awesome, not as gangster as the Mr. Rossi how to draw videos. Don't forget to share this video. Tell all your friends about it. Get that little piece of tape and tape that marker to your dog's arm and have him draw or your cat's arm, even a little bird. Put it on the little wing. They'll love doing this stuff. I tell you. All right, guys, until the next video, make sure to be excellent to yourselves and check it out because you got Mario coming up next. You don't want to miss Mario. All right, guys, till next time.